Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with SBase Calc Scripts. We are going to cover the exclude and the end exclude commands. Exclude and end exclude are used when you don't want to process every member of a dimension, but you want to process most of the members of a dimension. Exclude and end exclude are used inside of calc scripts and business rules to focus a calculation. Exclude and end exclude are what are called sandwich commands. You have to have a top layer of bread, that's exclude. You have to have a bottom layer of bread, that's end exclude. And you have to have interesting stuff in the middle. You can't have an exclude without an end exclude. You can't have an end exclude without an exclude. Like the fix command, that is the closely related sibling of exclude, you don't have to have a semicolon after each exclude or end exclude command. Keep in mind that everything between the exclude and the end exclude is calculated as one block. Where fix limits by only pulling in a specific number of members into memory, exclude essentially does the opposite. Rather than pull an entire dimension in, it'll pull in all the dimension except one or two specific members, whereas fix is normally only used to pull into memory one or two specific members. It works really well on sparse dimensions because blocks that meet the exclude criteria are never pulled into memory. So say you had a scenario dimension that had actual budget, what if, and forecast, and this was a sparse dimension. If you said exclude actual, it's never gonna pull in that entire slice of blocks. It's not gonna go to the index and get the pointers. It's not gonna go to the page file and read all those blocks in. It will limit the amount of blocks that are ever actually even retrieved and processed. So common uses of exclude are when you wanna calculate all the scenarios except one, like my example just now, maybe everything but actual, or maybe Maybe we want to calculate actuals, but we don't want to bother calculating the future years because there's not future year actual yet. Or maybe we only want to calculate the budget. Well, the budget only exists for future years. We don't care about calculating prior years. Generally, you are going to exclude on a few members, but those can be from multiple dimensions. That doesn't work the way you think it does, and I'll explain more about that one in a second. It doesn't work the way a fix does. You can list specific member names. You can use member set functions like at children or at descendants. You can have an and or an or inside of the exclude. It's not generally done that way. Be careful if you end up with an empty set, meaning you're excluding on say at children of January and January doesn't have any children because the bottom of your time dimension is month. That will result in an empty set and it won't exclude anything. Now an exclude on nothing means do the whole dimension. That's a little more expected than a fix on an empty set, which ends up doing the whole dimension. So it's not as bad excluding on an empty set as a fix on an empty set, but both do the exact same thing. It's gonna do the entire dimension. So let's take a simple example. Let's say we're going to exclude on a single member. So we want to calculate the entire market dimension, except for some reason we're a little bit irritated today with Florida. So we would say exclude Florida. Maybe they counted their numbers incorrectly. They're still dealing with learning to count after that hanging Chad thing in the 2000 election. So we're going to say exclude Florida. In our example here, we have a couple of stored measures, op income and margin that we want to calculate. So exclude Florida, op income semicolon, margin semicolon, and exclude. We'll calculate that entire market dimension, except for that very specific member I said ignore. Sorry, Florida, we're not paying attention to you right now. But what if, I didn't want to count any of the East. Maybe East has already been calculated. I could do an exclude using a member function. So I could say exclude I descendants of East. This will take everything in East's region. So East itself and all of its children and its children's children and its children's children's children, everything in the entire East region, and it will exclude it. So for total market, for West, for South, for Central, and all the things in West and South and Central, it will calculate op income and margin. Now we can do a list of members, and in my case here, I'm pulling members from multiple dimensions. Now if I said exclude west comma south op income margin, it would do exactly what you expect. It's going to calculate all the markets except west and south. But notice in my example here, I said west comma south comma actual. Now the way a fix would work is it would limit my blocks to just west and south where they were equal to actual but exclude works differently than a fix on members from different dimensions. An exclude on, just say it was west comma actual, 
That would ignore West for every scenario, and it would ignore Actual for every market. It doesn't exclude the specific combination of West and Actual. So in my example here, exclude West, South, and Actual. It excludes every single slice of West data, every single slice of South data, and every single slice of Actual data. None of those blocks are actually pulled into memory. So be very, very careful when doing an exclude on members from multiple dimensions that it's giving you what you want. You can nest exclude commands just like you can nest fix commands. Nesting means to have one sandwich command like fix or exclude inside of another sandwich command. Here we have an exclude that says not to operate on east or west. But within that, it says we're first going to ignore actual while we calculate op income, and then we're going to ignore budget while we calculate margin. Now, as before, this is an or, not an and, meaning when calculating op income, we're ignoring east and west for all scenarios, and we're ignoring actual for all regions. In this example, we are first focusing on the calculation using a fix on just east and west. Now, in the previous example, we were doing everything but east and west, but since exclude and fix are essentially opposites, we're now focusing just on east and west. And then within that outer fix, we are excluding to tell it to first ignore actual while we calculate op income and then ignore budget while we calculate margin. Now you could use exclude on dense dimensions and it's fine to do so. That said, I wouldn't do an exclude on a dense member and then do a different exclude later in the calc script on another dense member. But despite what you may read online, you can exclude on dense members. My example here, I don't want to pull every block into memory. I want to pull in the east blocks and the west blocks. So I say fix on east and west. But now for everything but marketing, I want to set budget 10% greater than actual. For everything but payroll, I want to set budget 30% greater than actual. Forgetting the fact that this is actually going to operate on a lot of members twice. For instance, sales. Well, that's not excluded in that first one, so it's going to pull sales in, set budget 10% greater than actuals. The second one also doesn't exclude sales, so it's going to set sales 30% budget greater than actual. So that's problem one. Problem two, though, is that first block, exclude marketing, budget equals actual times 1.1 and exclude, that operates as one pass through the database, pulls in all the east and west blocks, other than the marketing member, goes and ups the budget 10% greater than actual. Then it writes all those blocks out, gets to the next exclude, reads all those blocks back in again for east and west, sets everything but payroll for budget 30% greater than actual, and then writes all those out. So a couple of problems. One, multiple passes through the database. Two, you're probably operating on multiple members multiple times without realizing you're actually doing it. There are a few commands you can't run inside of an exclude and exclude block. Calc all, because calc all means do everything. So why would you ever have it inside of an exclude or an end exclude? You can do, for instance, a calc dim though. You can't use a clear data. This might strike some people as limiting, but you can use a clear block. And as we know, if you try and do a clear block on a portion of a block, it functions as a clear data. So clear block is, a, frankly, a better alternative than clear data inside of an exclude. You also can't do a data copy command, but you can set one member equal to another member, which works like a data copy, except it doesn't increase the block count if the block doesn't already exist.